This week's episode is far better than the last one in terms of excitement, fast-paced action and general development of the story. In this week's episode we get to see a lot more of that Ares Targaryen. She questions Lord Varys' loyalty. She tells him that if ever she falters he must look her in the eye and correct her. Red hair priestess Melisandre tells the Uries that she could be the prince mentioned in the ancient prophecy, so where does that leave Jon Snow? Or is this another cunning ploy by Melisandre to humor the Uries Targaryen? I wonder how her role will play out. Does she marry Jon Snow? Do her dragons come into use to kill the White Walkers? Does the fire from dragons help to forge dragon glass? Will Cersei and her hand find a way to defeat the Uries Targaryen's dragons? I wonder how they will use the big bow in the battle. Sam tries to save Jorah Mormont by secretly operating on him. The Archmaster doesn't allow him and warns him. Does Sam successfully save Jorah? Does he get the grayscale too? Jon loves to meet Dee and puts Sansa Stark in charge of Winterfell in the north after getting ravens from Tyrion and Sam. He is first traveling to White Harbor Bay. Will he come to know about his parenthood now? Does he come to know from Bran Stark or does Reed tell him that he is a Targaryen? How does he influence the Uri's Targaryen to ally with him? And most importantly do he and the Uri's Targaryen marry? How does Sansa Stark cope with the responsibility of ruling the North? Does Petter Baelish influence her choices in any way? He had a sly smile when Jon left everything to Sansa. I personally feel his aunt is near. As per Tyrion's plan. Both the Greyjoy siblings and the Sand Snakes are on the way to Drone. On the way they are attacked by Euron Greyjoy. The two Sand Snakes get killed in the battle and Tyrion Sand and El Arya Sand are taken prisoners. As I predicted in last week's episode they will be a gift to Cersei from Euron. Yara Greyjoy is captured by Euron, seeing this Theon jumps off the ship without coming to her aid. Does Euron also offer her to Cersei? She isn't as valuable as a gift for Cersei as the Sand Snakes who killed her daughter, so does he kill her off? Does the Uri's Targaryen and Jon Snow fulfill their prophecy? Or does Martin throws us another surprise? Where does Arya fit in all this? What happens to Bran Stark? Let's wait for episode 3.